Hey, in this video, I'm going to very quickly show you some of the things that we can do with token data. Now, this is where you can provide all of your filtering and all of your JSON manipulation directly within the OmniScript. So, what we went through in the last video is that we had our extract and our transform, which were defined on the document template. So, if I open this one up, and just to show you that, um, you can see that we had those defined there. So with the token data map, it completely ignores those two data raptors and sends through its own. So I'll really quickly show you how to set this up. And in subsequent videos, I'll show you some of the more complex and cool things that you can do. So I'm just going to create a new version. Um, and what we need to do here is that we actually have to put in the data raptor directly into the Omni script. So to do that, we're just going to go into build and I'm going to find my extract. And it needs to be done before this step over here. So I'm just going to put it um, over there. And obviously when you do it um, for a real life scenario, you could have it anywhere. And in fact, some of the examples that I've done in my other work is multiple data extracts and transforms. So what I do is I actually wrap that up in an integration procedure. Um, and I will eventually get to show you that, but it probably won't be today. So we'll just come in and we'll use our um, extract here. And so just coming back in, closing that so we don't get confused. And we'll add that in there. I generally like to give these the same name. Um, and we will need to provide an input into this one. So if we select over here, um, it will be ID that we're sending through and I'm pretty sure it's object ID. If it isn't, um, we can test that and come back to it. Okay, the reason why I think it's object ID, just if you haven't been following along since the beginning, is that we provide the object ID there. Okay, so I think that's actually enough in there. Um, one thing I will point out is that if you weren't watching the previous video, in my transform, I changed the date. So over here, I just changed the date format. And in my extract, I've got just the date that it pulls it out of Salesforce. So let's come along here and activate that. And straight away, I'm going to deactivate it because I just realized that I haven't defined the token data to send through. So just coming back to the data raptor, I'm just going to have a look at the response transformation. And for the response JSON node, I'm just going to put in DR um, extract like that. And the reason I'm doing that is because with our server side doc gen with token data, we need to provide the input. So let's just copy that. And in the set generation service input parameters, coming down, there will be our token data map. So the sample will provide you with some uh, JSON in there. I'm just going to click into that, get rid of everything. And I'm going to put in our DR extract and save that there. All right, and now I'm going to activate that. And this might be a bit of trial and error. So if it doesn't work first up, we'll come back and we'll fix that. All right, let's go and preview that. Um, so first things first, I need to get my case ID again. And we'll preview that. And we'll just race through this. 
select our server side case details and this time we need to drop use this drop down and select the generation with token data and we'll click next and it said that there was an unexpected character so let's go into our action debugger and under the server side document um, or server side doc generation we can click on request data and it shows you what gets sent so we're looking for something that says um, well we've got our dr extract there so it we should have our um, what do you call it the token data map somewhere here um, which is dr extract so it's just got the it doesn't look like it's actually done anything with that so I'm going to deactivate them and we'll get that working properly. So coming back in, um, actually I should have checked something else first. Uh, let's just try that again though. Uh, actually use expression and try that this time it says equals uh, whereas previously it didn't so we'll activate and try again all right I'll preview that And it erred again, so it's probably done the same thing. So let's go back and see that error. Well, this time it has got the token data map um, in there with our account name and everything. Oh, actually, sorry, it does say it was created successfully. Um, perhaps, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> let's try that again. Let's click on design and preview. We'll clear all this. very strange so when I click on that and we look at our um, over here our token data map is DR extract um, however if I pr go previous and click on next it does work and if I look at the actual uh, thing that was sent here it actually sends in the right things so um, Oh, where is it? Our token data map should be in here somewhere. So there's our token data map and it did send in the right thing. So there's something a bit uh, funky going on there. I don't know if it's the version or whatnot, but if we come back into the case and uh, you can see we've got quite a few things going on there. Um, the file size are promising. It's 1030 here now. So or this is in a different time zone. Um, but if I open that up, uh, that has the files there so it's created um, look I think I am still gonna post this even though we need to work out why it's erroring in the first place but I just wanted this to really be a bit of a preview and sneak preview into that because what we can do and I can't help myself I am gonna quickly go ahead and and show you is in something like this um, we can add uh, another field like perhaps we can say um, you know just some some plain text or something and then what we type in that we can send through with the token data map and that can then map it to its own field in the um, document so this is something I started working on a few weeks ago I'm really excited about it so this is just a sneak preview I promise I'll come back within the next fortnight with something a bit more concrete um, and I'll step you through some of the options that I've been playing with thanks bye